instant way to kill the pizza. It just needs to be there. It doesn't need to be everywhere. Pushing out the back near the crust. Pockets of just, just marinara. Instant way to kill the pizza. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, today's video is brought to you by Armand. And this is my guy's favorite pie. He knows I'm a pan fan. I'm a pan man. But with Pizza Hut. He, however, is a pan fan, pan man. But from Domino's. So what he wanted to do was have me try his favorite pie the way he likes it specifically and compare it to my favorite pie from Pizza Hut. So we've got a pan to pan, man to man, hand to hand shootout between me and Armand essentially. Me trying his favorite pie against my favorite pie. I have not cracked the top. I'm trying to keep the heat till we eat. So with that being said, before we do anything more, we must. Pa 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 pa, pour, and that is going to be with a nice full sugar peps. So I'm doing the pour up solo because I want the pizza to be as fresh and hot as possible. It just hit the door, and I do not want to crack that top and lose any heat because I want a nice hot slice of my guy's favorite pie. Okay, that sounds a little suspect. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean, but this fizzling at the top, popping out everywhere, beautiful, cold, amazing sugar syrup water. It's what's needed with a pie like this, trust. I present to you Armand's pie. Dun, 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 dun. So what pie are we working with? One might ask themselves. Well, Armand likes light sauce. Shout out light sauce, I love light marinara. Double cheese, double pepperoni. Can't go wrong, just double it up. And this piece right here is calling my name. I am liking the look of it. So there's the backside, that's the pan oil, the nice crunchy crust we've got. The cheese, the pep, the side view, the back view. He said, any dip I want to keep it fair in comparison. You guys know I always have my Pizza Hut with my Runny Ranch with the pepperoncini liquid. So that's what we got today. And it wouldn't be a Hoodies Pizza Hut video if I didn't do an extremely dirty ranch dunk in the beginning. So that's what we're going to do here. And that's it. This one's for you, buddy. Thank you so much. Gotta let those ranchy sides ride right now for this one. Hmm, man. Still nice and warm. Mm -hmm. First things first. I can immediately see why this is. Extremely high. On your list of priorities. <laughs> Dad jokes. It's a great pizza. It is, uh, Hefty. Crunchy, delicious, flavorful. Very, 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 very good. All right, if we're gonna keep it extra true, we gotta do a Chini Ranch bite too. Mm. Oh man, 
of that in there. Mm. Said a pepperoni pocket. I'm just trying to inspect their pepperoni. It's good. Very much appreciative of this video. <laughs> I appreciate it too. Domino's is putting up a fight. With this pie. Absolutely. All right, after two proper pieces, here's where my head's at. It is very good. Where it differs quite a bit from Pizza Hut is the dough, the pan dough, is heftier. Has weight, more density. It has a slight, um, like flaky, Almost like pie dough type texture. I find Pizza Hut to be more of an airy cloud type dough. I prefer how light and fluffy their the pan dough is there. Outside of that, it's hard to distinguish a ton of difference. Pizza Hut's pepperoni and cheese obviously is going to be different and has its own kind of unique flavor, but for the most part, it's like, it's pepperoni and cheese, right? It's kind of hard to tell too, too much different about it. But that would be the one thing that I would say definitely... Is the difference here is the dough, but great pie. So Armand told me, I think he said like I'm his favorite food channel and that he's been watching me through high school and he's out of high school. Now, so I feel a little bit like a true ranch father. To my dude Armand, Not sure if he's heading into his college years or anything. I don't know if that's on his list of plans, but I know that I helped my boy graduate. <laughs> I didn't. Maybe just distracted him while he's trying to study. <laughs> Probably not a good influence over here.
probably a cheesy pepperoni. I'll definitely say this too, Armand. Anybody who hits it with the light sauce maneuver has my respect. Too much marinara murders a good pizza. Instant way to kill the pizza. It just needs to be there. It doesn't need to be everywhere. Pushing out the back near the crust. You know what I mean? Pockets of just, just marinara. No. And to you psychopaths who order extra marinara cups on the side to dip your pizza in marinara when it comes with marinara. Y'all need to check yourselves in to an institution, ASAP. That's actually just not right. <laughs> Meanwhile, I dunk mine into the most ridiculous amount of ranch <laughs> for real though teach their own but i'm just playing with y'all i'm not actually calling you psychos i just don't understand the marinara thing i've never understood getting a pizza and putting more marinara on it, it just makes no sense to my flavor palette Mm hmm I'm full. I'm at the point. These, mm, two and a half hours from now. I'll be back. That went down very, very smooth. I was so hungry. Like I said, hefty, hefty pie. The double cheese, you could really feel it on there. And then the pan dough, just a hefty pie already to begin with. So does it beat the hut for me? No, unfortunately not. Is it right on its tail? Yes, absolutely. So thank you once again, Armand. Hope you enjoyed this video. If anybody else is looking for a video like this for you, for them, Hit me up. Let me know. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good. Live well. I stay true.